is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas, and of course, it's 2021, and why not have Workhorse kick this thing off with a banger? They dropped some massive, massive news yesterday, and I really want to dive into some of the things that I think are very important, and really some details that I think we need to really hit on and capitalize on as far as moving forward for this company. You know, obviously that was a massive, massive order in place, but there is some fine details to it, and you know, there's a lot of things that I really want to talk about in this entire thing. So if you're interested in Workhorse, I suggest you stay tuned right after this. Of course, before we dive into Workhorse, I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, and now it's time to get into the video. I'm telling you what, I'm convinced to myself that 2021 is going to be Workhorse's year, and I feel that, that the, that's what the company's saying. 2021 is going to be our year, and this absolutely is a bold statement. This is an aggressive statement. This is saying, yes. We understand that the USPS, the United States Postal Service contract, is lurking there. It is tempting us. It's been there for a while. It's been pushed back, and now they're saying that it could be announced in quarter one. But the thing is, is this company has to continue to push in the you know the right direction. They have to find a way to really start generating revenue. They have to find a way to really start filling that backlog, and they have to start producing good quarterly earnings. As a long-term investor like myself and many of you are, these are the types of things you want to see. Yes, we truly, truly want to see the USPS contract become workhorses. But the thing is, is in order for this company to be successful, they can't always just wish and hope. They have to execute, and this is one way to do that. Obviously, they're creating networks. They've created massive partnerships. And, you know, we're obviously going to dive in and talk about Hitachi. And yet again, I think that this is a massive partnership between the two, Hitachi and Workhorse. And the reason I say that is because I just felt when Hitachi made the announcement and Workhorse made the announcement that they would be doing a partnership, it really wasn't that big of news. I don't think it was as big as it should have been. And so now we're starting to see how Hitachi is playing a role into the likes of being a partner to Workhorse. And what they're doing is they're going out, they're creating networks, they're they're getting partnerships, they're getting massive orders like this, and they're come it's coming to Workhorse. Now, I do have some questions. Obviously, it's not negative because this is a big time deal, and I'm very bullish on this company. Always have been, done a ton of videos on this company. But I want to see how this company is going to produce this 6320 you know truck order that was placed on them with all that backlog which i believe is roughly 1900 ups actually has one of the biggest orders with them until obviously pride came along and did that so what we're going to do is we're going to break down exactly what pride is we're going to go into it we're going to talk about how hitachi had their hand in on it and we're just going to really start just unraveling the information so let's get into this Pride Group Enterprises ranked number 28 on the 2019 Growth 500 list is a privately held diversified establishment and is a parent company for Pride Truck Sales, T-Pine Leasing Capital, T-Pine Truck Rental, Pride Group Logistics, Pride Fleet Service, and obviously they are located in 15 locations across North America. The company and its affiliates are proud members of the National Lease, one of the largest full service truck leasing organizations in North America. So amazing, amazing information right there. And it just continues to, to really provide even more information. An American technology company focused on providing sustainable and cost-effective drone integrated electric vehicles to the last mile delivery sector. I'm glad they implemented that because I want people to be aware. You know, my channel really has focused in on the drone sector. Obviously, I've niched down to where I really hone in on the drone because I do think it's going to have such a massive impact in, in the entire world. I think drones are going to be extremely relevant. They're going to be doing a lot of things for a lot of people. And that's what makes me super even more excited about the fact that Workhorse is really pushing the horse fly and the ability it's going to provide off of a truck is even more phenomenal. And most people don't understand 
This is currently going through the FAA's approval, the 135, which is a tough enduring test to get the drone to be able to fly and do things that they want it to do. So obviously I've done multiple videos on the horsefly and I'm super pumped, but this is about pride and the massive, massive order that was placed. So again, it says the last mile delivery sector today announced that it has received a purchase order for 6,000 320 C-Series all-electric delivery vehicles from Pride Group Enterprises, a premier Canadian and U.S.-based privately held company with businesses in transportation equipment, retail, wholesale, rental, leasing, and logistics. The order is split between workhorses C-1000 and C-650 models and is subject to various productions and delivery conditions. Now, that last piece right there is a big, big piece. It is dependent upon and it's subject to various production and delivery conditions. Basically what I'm getting from this is that they expect them to be able to do it in a timely manner and I do think we'll dive into that a little bit um, as we get into this a little bit more but I do think that they put a deadline to July of 2026 and so I'm hoping that this company has the ability to do that. You're really talking about ramping up the expectations for Workhorse because they really haven't been hitting a whole lot of truck numbers. Obviously, we understand they endured the pandemic and that really affected their obviously manufacturing line and that did a number on them. But it's time to get going. It's time to catch up. It's time to get your backlog filled, generate that revenue and then start diving into Pride Group Enterprises, you know, expectations and really kind of their delivery conditions. Inventory financing is being provided by Hitachi Capital America. Now, that is the one of the biggest pieces I think that is provided in this. And the reason is, is because, yes, they are providing the financing. But on top of that, Hitachi probably had a major role in this. And the reason I say that is because Hitachi obviously was brought in as a partnership with Workhorse to complete tasks like this. You know, obviously the financing was talked about and was going to be distributed to the likes of Hitachi and so that way they can get all the deals done it's just going to be workhorse's job to manufacture the obviously the vehicles and that's exactly what happened here so it's exciting to see as part of the company's previously announced strategic partnership with HCA uh, initial delivery of the vehicles may begin by July 2021 and will run through 2026 the delivered vehicles will be distributed through Pride dealerships for fleet use. And I think that that's going to be amazing to hear. You know, obviously we understand that the sister company, or that's what I refer to it as, Lordstown, you know, Motors obviously has the endurance. And Workhorse obviously has that 10% stake in the royalty for the first 260,000, um, you know, endurances made. So it's kind of it has that same feel to it. You know, obviously the endurance is going to be manufactured and built for the fleet concept, and that's kind of what is going on here. And that's exactly what they said. It's going to be at dealerships of Pride and it's going to be strictly for fleet use. Now, continuing on, our new agreement with Pride marks our largest individual order to date and expands our sales channel internationally into Canada. Again, another massive piece. Something I always wanted Workhorse to do ever since I started investing around the two and two dollar and like thirty five cent, two dollar and fifty cent mark, was at some point to see this company go international. And I think that this creates that channel to at least go to Canada and start pushing the you know the trucks that direction or the vans that direction. Uh, and it continues to say into Canada for the first time, said Workhorse CEO Dwayne Hughes. Our ongoing partnership with HCA continues to bear fruit as we gear up for scaled production in 2021. And that was a vocal point. You know, they obviously stated they were hit by the pandemic, but now it's going into 2021. And they even said in their quarterly earnings, 2021, we're going to start ramping up and really getting into the production phase. That's something that they've actually been lacking. You know, like I said, they've had a backlog of roughly 1900 trucks or vans. And a big order of that is from UPS. And so, you know, these are the types of things you want to see. It's time to start going. And he even hits on right there, HCA, Hitachi, bears fruit where they gear up. So I like to see that. This large order solidifies our first mover advantage and indicates the heightened interest in our last mile delivery products. Again, last mile delivery products. Uh, that can also start to incorporate the horsefly once it gets FAA approval. Those are the types of things you want to see. Pride Group Enterprises CEO Sam Johal added Pride is excited to establish this new partnership, which will add last mile delivery vehicles to our existing product offering. It is one of the key steps we have taken 
over the past year towards achieving our future target of 100% electric vehicles, including our recently finalized largest Class 8 EV order. We are continuing to work on infrastructure to provide public charging stations at all of our locations, as well as EV service, OEM warranty, and parts across all major North American highways. Workhorse's last mile delivery trucks continue to be in demand across North America, which has been highlighted from our dealer group surveys and it's further illustrated by the large order from Pride, said Kirkman, Senior Vice President and GM Transportation Finance at Hitachi Capital. So that is a major, major, you know, obviously Senior VP Kirkman at Hitachi Capital. And he's even saying there is a massive demand across the North America and truly it's been highlighted that workhorse trucks and vans obviously are very, very wanted. And, and that's amazing to hear and see. We are proud that our mobility solutions effort in, is a North American answer to important electric vehicle fleet program. And so these are all the things you want to see, especially so very early on into 2021. I mean, we've just cracked you know, into January and we're already making some major move, moves and some news. I love to see it. Now, obviously, some of the things that I want to see Workhorse do is obviously meet that backlog, fill that backlog, and start generating revenue. I would like to see some, obviously, ramp up for quarterly earnings. And I understand that it may not be on this last quarterly earnings, but I would like to see that the following quarterly earnings really represent some movement in manufacturing. Get these vehicles out and really generate some revenue off of that. The next big question I have for Workhorse is... With Hitachi in your, you know, obviously assisting you in that partnership and they're going out and they're getting you these deals. And this is obviously, you know, quoted to be the largest of your orders yet. You know, the question then becomes, are you going to have to scale up? Are you going to have to find a place that is obviously in a much larger area that allows you to really start producing some major vehicles? Because obviously this is a 6,000 plus vehicle order. And they give them until 2026, understandably. But that's not going to be the only orders that are going to come in. Obviously, you have, like I said, that 1900 backlog you need to fill plus the 6000 And then, obviously, we are hoping that the USPS contract is awarded in some manner to Workhorse, which then is really going to cause the, the vehicle expectation to ramp up tremendously. Are they going to be able to suffice and meet the needs of all these customers that are coming to them with these orders? And so I do then question, is Hitachi going to really kind of assist them in upscaling and getting a bigger manufacturing plant? Are they going to then reach out to the likes of a Lordstown and really start looking to, to manufacture there? So those are some questions I have, but that's it, excitement. That's what Those are the things you want to see. This is a bullish attitude questioning, you know, obviously wanting some answers as far as how are we going to grow? These are big growing questions because clearly the company is wanting to, they're taking those steps. And these are the things you want to see, you know, obviously we've been sitting on our hands and getting three trucks here, possibly four trucks here. I think those days are kind of getting into the past and we're going to start to see this company really ramp up and start producing, you know, a ton of vehicles in a month's time. And the expectations are going to be that they're doing that. And obviously, you know, we have we've heard it. Dwayne Hughes has said it multiple times that we need to ramp up production. We need to get to a certain number and produce those each month. These are exciting times. I look forward to it. I know many of you guys are. Obviously, you're wanting the stock price to go in the upward direction. And, and that's that's what's exciting as well. We have come to my favorite part of any video, and that is chart breaking down time. So let's swing on over here and check out Workhorse since we haven't done this in a while. So we're looking at a three month chart. It opened today at $21.36. It got as high as $22.69. Its low was $21.19. Volume is 13.45 million. Current market cap is 2.703 billion. You love to see it. 52 week high is $30.99. You know, we've been stuck at that 52 week high for a while. Let's see if we can crack that. That'd be nice. 52 week low is $1.31. Average volume 17.50 million. Today, it closed at $22.43. That was up 4.72%. And then the after hours to wrap out the day completely, it closed at $22.14, down 1.29%. Now, as you guys can see, this is, like I said, <coughs> excuse me, a three-month chart. And the three-month chart is all over the place. I mean, we've hit all kinds of numbers. 
Obviously, October, it really just tanked in November. And the reason was because obviously the USPS contract was pushed back. And then obviously we have a massive climb. And then we just kind of fell down and really have just leveled off since that point. Really have kind of just been stuck in what I would refer to as a consolidation in a way. Um, really haven't gone too much swaying this way, swaying that way. And we're waiting for some news. Obviously, this is the type of news we were waiting for. It came out. It's been released. And I think we're starting to see some traction again with this stock price. I think we're going to start to see it climb back in the upward direction. I would like to see it eventually get back to the 25 and show support at 25 and really stay there um, until we really get maybe the major news from the USPS contract or they continue to provide more information on, you know, filling that backlog and, you know, actually generating revenue and doing more than three trucks in a quarter. Those are the things that, like I said, we as investors want to start seeing. We want to start to see some movement within the company. You know, we're moving past a lot of the, the baby phase things, the infant stages. It's time to get these things rolling. Um, and, you know, I think a major piece that most people are just kind of not necessarily ignoring, but I think is the FAA approval, like I've been saying, of the 135 for the horsefly. I think if that news is announced, you're going to see this stock price really, really, really go in the, in the upward direction because that is going to be a massive piece of information and give them a huge ability to do a lot of things now off their truck. And what it's really going to do also is really give that support to the, you know, to the truck because they're able to deliver the drones off the truck and beyond the visual line of sight. That's a big piece too with that 135 is the beef loss. So like I said, I want to see support 25 and let's see what, if we can get there and really hold and then we'll bounce off of that. Um, and then hopefully we get the USPS contract news and holy smokes, this thing could be a, a ride for sure in 2021, which we're all hoping. I do appreciate you guys swinging by and checking out this video on Workhorse. I am absolutely excited for this company. I truly am. I've been invested in this company for a long, long, long time. You know, early, early twos. And I'm excited to see this thing actually take off. For the original reason why I got into this company was to start seeing the vehicles being sold. The, to see those orders filled and see these trucks slash vans rolling off the line with the horse fly, you know, being a part of the whole deal. Those are the reasons why I got in and believed in this company from the very beginning. You know, I'm excited to see the USPS contract. I'm excited to see all everything that's coming with it. Obviously, refrigeration is always a topic. And so these are all the things that I'm excited for. So I do appreciate you guys swinging by and checking out this video. I do want to remind you, I'm not a financial advisor and anything I say in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only. And that's exactly what I'm here to do is entertain. And you guys know exactly how I do it. If you like this video, smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And if you enjoy the content, because I'm going to keep the content flowing, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, have a good day.